Section 10.7, Write and Graph Equations of Circles. We've spent a lot of time in this chapter looking at the various properties of circles, but let's see what happens when we put a circle on a Cartesian plane. So I have my Cartesian plane here, I have my x-axis, I have my y-axis, and each of these lines is representing one unit. Well, I could, let's say I want to put my circle here at 2 comma 3. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it at 2 comma 1. And I'm going to give my circle a radius of 3 units. Meaning, no matter where I am, I'm always 3 units away from the center of my circle. There we go. Ish. Okay. What I find then is that any point, no matter where I put it on my circle, I can drop a vertical line, and I can have a horizontal line, and I can have the radius. In this case, so here's my radius, and in this case, my radius is 3. Well then I know this point right here, which is x comma y, its vertical distance is going to be y minus 1. Because I'm already one unit up, so this distance here is whatever my y value is minus 1. Its horizontal distance is whatever my x value is minus 2. Because I'm already 2 over, so wherever I am in my x value, I take the difference between those two. Here's the fun part. Because this is a right triangle, I know by Pythagorean theorem that y, or actually let's start with x, that x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 3 squared, the hypotenuse. And for this circle, I had a center at 2 comma 1 and a radius of 3. Well, let's look at another example. Let's say instead I want to center my circle. This time let's do the origin. And I'm going to do a radius of 5. And hand drawing circles is always a fascinating endeavor. This means no matter where I put a point on this circle, let's say I put a point here, where this is x, y. And in this particular case, my x, y is 3 comma, or negative 4 comma 3, but we'll just say that it's x, y. Then my vertical distance, right here, is going to be x, or y, sorry, minus negative 4. That's not right. I'm at 0. So my vertical distance is just the value of y. My horizontal distance is the value of x. And my radius is still r, which in this case is 5. So this circle has the equation of x, and we can say minus 0 squared, plus y minus 0 squared equals 5 squared. And this circle has a center at 0, 0, and a radius of 5. Are you starting to see the pattern yet? Let's try one more. What if I were to draw my circle with its center at, we'll say, negative 1, 1, and a radius of 2? then any point on my circle, I can construct a right triangle. And that radius will be 2. The vertical distance will be whatever my y value is, minus 1. And the horizontal distance will be whatever my x value is, right here, plus 1. And so I see that by Pythagorean theorem, 